Hello guys, welcome to Art Gallery N Plus One. Uh, this is Nitesh Lad, and uh, welcome to my channel. This is again uh, once again reminder about the, my channel subscription, and uh, here you have to subscribe my channel, and uh, you will get the updated information related to my channel. Okay, the today's topic is uh, applying for new voter ID on online. Okay, so we are going to the national portal of voter id and there are two way to apply for the uh, new voter id okay so i will tell you which is first okay uh, this is not working till now so but i am giving you the one extra information related to this okay you can check it out uh, about here okay new voter registration just click on the icon and uh, you will get the information so it's not working as i already told you it's uh, not properly working so we are converting as i have given the uh, it, uh, i have given link uh, about this website on the description and if you want to check out the old uh, registered about uh, voter id so you can click just on your search button and you have to give about information you have to provide here okay so your name your age till now if you never want to give your age you, even you can't calculate uh, able to calculate so you have to just click on the date of birth and you have to mention uh, your date of birth they automatically calculate your age okay uh, so your here it is your state here it is district and uh, assembly whatever your resident uh, assembly nearby and uh, father name it is not uh, necessary it is written here optional okay your gender and here you have to again give your capture this is written over here okay so and search button so you automatically get it your information if you are registered in the voter id list or not okay so i am the new registrar so i am going to register myself uh, in a new way so okay I am applying for first time okay here uh, many more options available for you okay online application registration overseas voter and uh, again track your status your track status if you are already uh, apply for new voter id so you can go here uh, and track yourself uh, where it is your id is uh, generated or not okay so i am taking a back new voter id and just click on here here you get uh, three options uh, related to the language okay the first is english hindi and malayalam so i am selecting here english language and i am entire form will be converted into the english language that is form 6 so you have to fill it and I just click on the submit i showed you how to it is so easy but lengthy okay just you have to click on this submit button so i'm going on ups uh my state okay my state is Ma maharashtra guys just for your information i'm going to create a one dummy id and i'm not going to submit this uh, id because it's uh, not a prof professional okay so just for your information i'm going to create this in video and assembly so my assembly is like uh, whatever kalyan kalyan okay kalyan west west area as if you are uh, first time uh, registering yourself so you have to click on this icon okay that i uh, which is already selected and uh, the magnetary information you have to give on here so my name is as i told you nitesh so i am going to uh, i am just putting my name in english okay and uh, i don't want to uh, put here again uh, in my regional language they automatically correct uh, rectify my name in my regional language okay the that's you can see over here that uh, they have 
written my name on uh, screen that is Nitesh Lad and my surname so I uh, I made a mistake that is I just have to put my name only and I have written my surname also because for the surname uh, for putting my surname they have already given me the another one column so my surname is already and they automatically notify my surname also I just click on name of reality of applicant okay name of reality of applicant so you can mention your uh, mother name husband name if you are married your husband name if you are unmarried your mother or father name so I'm giving you my dummy name that is uh, okay so uh, tab. Here, uh, which is the uh, information I am putting over here, it is not already uh, in uh, exist. Sometime I am I have to give my information for just because of the uh, cyber crime. So, relevant relative applicant, okay, relative applicants and surname. So again, lad, it is surname and uh, same as it is relation. So I am selecting here. My relation in relatives relation the applicant relation really uh, uh, they they preferably ask uh, about the previous relation if anyone has registered himself as a voter ID so you have to give just a reference uh, I'm selecting my father my father I have selected and uh, your age basically they are asking you if you as i already told you if you are not able to calculate your age so you can put your your birth date in a format date month and year so date is a then and my age is 1996 so my birth date and uh, about gender so again okay so you just have to fill your entire form and click on the submit so I am uh, click on hurry and uh, giving the entire information within a five minutes okay entire form right so here you have to give your uh, post office uh, address the nearby which is you have so i am giving kalyan station post office post okay and tap tap pin code and say districts and enter okay same <clears throat> if you have your permanent address and current address is same as it is so you just have to click on the this icon that is same as it is the entire information will be copy pasted on the permanent address okay so epic number uh, if you already register yourself as I already told you you are the shifting and another issue so if you are as I told you your first time uh, register yourself and uh, you are already register yourself and you have some 
uh, changes you have to do just changes and you are giving any information so either on that stage you have to give your epic number which is already given by voter voter id card on the front front of the voter id card okay so if you are visual increase impairment uh, speech hair girl and other disability is about disability so we don't want to select if yes so you have to just click on on the uh, this box click on this box okay your cell phone number so uh, i am just giving the dummy cell phone number also 9000 okay this is my cell phone number don't try to track it because it's not a value even they are also rectify myself that is not a value okay and uh, even my email id is not correct and uh, i'm giving to new number 9867900060 okay it was completed so here it is a new part was open upload your supplementary documents so basically what you have to do you have to upload your photograph age proof and address so so i'm giving my as i already told you my giving i'm giving entire information also and i have downloaded some picture from your google drive so i'm giving those picture this is my picture actually i am not looking like this as i as the guy is handsome okay and this is my age proof so i am uploading my birth certificate guys uh, here they are saying that the photo graph which i am going to upload it must be in 100 kb so you can compress it as it is it's uh, 163 and i have to compress it in. okay so i am giving another so that is my aadhar card as a address proof okay uh yet now i never upload my age proof so if you have already scanned document about your age proof uh, it may be happen in a, a passport also your driving license so many things so you have to upload over here okay and a declaration so again you have to fill your town that is Select your state. Select your state. Let me. Maharashtra. Your district. I already recently sent a form since uh, uh, here they are asking that uh, on which you have given the address on the top top of this form. So on that address, how long you are living from that address? So I am putting here one some random date that is fifth. Uh, it may be okay and uh, not a seventeen. They can't accept my. application 08 okay so it may be fine for me okay. you have to read this and uh, cover this so uh, this may be my name has not already been included in the election form that's why i am also uh, apl applying for new voter id if you have already so you have to click select another one option okay again and it's a date okay and you uh, 
they have given some uh, instruction that is i am aware about the making statement on declaration of false the entire declaration entire information which you have filling in this form that is true uh, if you the any information getting into false so you are punishable under section 31 and uh, presentation of the people act that is 1960 uh, 1950 okay and you just have to click on the submit if you are submitted your email id along with the contact number uh, your contact number so you will get that uh, one uh, message from the voter id card uh, voter id side and uh, you just have to go there and uh, track yourself as i already told you how to track yourself okay again i am going to tell you so yeah, here you have to click on track status on the track status and you the whatever the reference id they given to you you just have to put here and just click on track okay that's it thank you again this is reminder for my channel subscription okay bye